This week, Musk opened up about his plans with layoffs on Twitter. I confirmed what everyone was doubting. Officially, Elon Musk fired 75% of Twitter's employees. Then Musk warned that he will fire the remaining 25% of Twitter's workforce if they don't do high-quality work. Musk demands that the rest accept working hard or leave, leading to the resignations last week of an estimated 1,200 additional Twitter employees. Musk is shaking the trees to get rid of unproductive employees. He is additionally going to lay off more employees. In addition, finally, Elon has shared comprehensive details on how he was able to address the issue of an increase in fake accounts and bots brought on by modifications to the checkmark system. Elon Musk introduced a few new colors and checkmarks to establish a system of verification that will change Twitter once and for all. And there is another incredible change in the checkmark system that has been revealed. But there's more. Musk has revealed his plan for accounts that won't pay for blue checkmarks, and as we found out, they will have a completely different Twitter experience on the platform. This is a very interesting situation, so let's explain it. So this week, under Musk's ownership, Twitter continued to reduce the company's workforce, terminating workers who had challenged the company in public confrontations and removing contractors. According to three people with knowledge of the situation, Twitter fired roughly two dozen Twitter workers, who had publicly and privately criticized him. The billionaire later verified the layoffs on the platform and criticized the former employees. The layoffs followed a weekend reduction in Twitter's contract workforce. According to sources familiar with the situation, several of the contractors work on content filtering and data science and were let go as well. Musk has worked rapidly to revamp Twitter while presenting a grim image of the company's finances. In November, the social networking platform laid off more than half of its staff while driving the remaining employees to rapidly develop and launch new products. Musk stated that Twitter was facing bankruptcy and had to become more hardcore to survive. According to those acquainted with the situation, Musk intends to reorganize the firm to eliminate middle management. The firings at Twitter came in response to Musk's statement, in which he stated that Twitter was super slow in many countries due to the way it handled data. According to those briefed on the strategy, a team at Twitter was directed to sift through communications in the company's internal chat network and compile a list of workers who were disrespectful. They also combed through staff tweets for criticism. Those who were considered rule breakers got emails informing them of their layoff at about 1.30 a.m. Pacific time. As you may be aware, Musk has already let go of the company's CEO, CFO, policy and legal team leaders. He has also eliminated Twitter's board of directors. Over 50 Tesla employees, mostly software engineers from the Autopilot team, have joined the new Twitter owner. According to CNBC's internal records, which they viewed, employees from Musk's other companies are now authorized to work at Twitter. Musk has trust in the employees he's pulled from other companies into Twitter, including Tesla's director of software development, Ashok Alaswamy, director of Autopilot and Tesla bot engineering, Milan Kovic, senior director of software engineering, Maha Vidigari, and others. Another problem that Musk is facing is still his fight with fake accounts. As you know, to deal with the spam and bot accounts once and for all, Musk introduced new subscription of $8 for blue ticks, and Elon postponed the introduction of the site's premium membership service in November after an alarming surge of fake accounts worried advertisers. If Elon Musk's plans to delete spam Twitter accounts go through, he will lose a significant chunk of his followers. According to Scottish Digital Skills Academy, Code Clan, which analyzed the top 20 most followed accounts on the social media platform using Twitter audit, Musk would lose 13.5 million followers, approximately 14% of his total follower count. As you are aware, he had previously attempted to cancel the deal because Twitter had given false information about the number of fake accounts in its filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Automated accounts, designed to look like real people, are created for the purpose of sharing false information and financial scams. Oftentimes, cybercriminals will utilize Twitter bots to distribute harmful material. Musk stated that he was postponing the launching of Blue Verified to ensure that it was rock solid. The need for the extra time comes after authentic-looking fake accounts multiplied on the website late last month, disrupting his preparations. As a result, Twitter suspended the new payment-based checkmark system last week and reinstated a grey official label on accounts affiliated with public personalities and significant corporations. Musk, in an attempt to avoid a repetition of the problem, stated that in the latest version, modifying your verified name will result in the removal of the checkmark, 
unless the name is approved by Twitter to fulfill the terms of service. Previously, users in the United States could pay $8 for the verified checkmark and be free to modify their account names and imitate existing accounts, attracting mischief. In the most recent update, Musk stated in a Twitter exchange that the only basis to tell if a user is a spam account, a legitimate celebrity or organization in the future would be the number of paid blue verified as their followers. As the new CEO works to eliminate unpaid old blue checkmarks over the coming few months, it is unclear whether these legitimate celebrities or businesses will get an official or verified tag beneath their name. However, the idea appears to be far from definite. Musk speculated four hours after stating that verified followers are the most significant measure that follower quantity and the arduous challenge of disallowing purposeful impersonation would be the solution to his verification problems. However, after former journalist and conservative Twitter pundit Ian Miles Chong pointed out that numerous prominent verified accounts had millions of followers but very little activity, Musk shifted his position to believe that verified follower count will be the most important measure. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.